Okay guys, so you probably click on the video thinking you're telling me to not buy that many shares but purchase some options. What's going on? Like, aren't options like super dangerous investments, things that you shouldn't really do that often? These options I'm gonna show you, which are called leaps, are very, very safe options. In fact, they're so safe to the point that some investors don't even buy shares and they just buy leaps and they get even more exposure. You get more exposure on a stock safely without using margin. Yeah, you heard that right. That sounds like a hack. And it kind of is, and I really love this leap strategy. Now, keep in mind that all strategies have their pros and cons. I will be giving you guys the pros and then what you're missing out on if you buy leap options. This is kind of for a lot of the new options traders out there. I've noticed a ton of people on the Discord server, by the way, link in the description below, 22,000 plus members, and it's completely free. A ton of you guys don't really know a lot about leap stocks. A lot of you guys are buying shares, but you can't really afford that many shares. So if you get leaps, you get a lot of exposure on a stock without paying that much money. It's really good. Let's dive right into it. So just go to trade Fastly options. I like Fastly. I think they're a pretty good company. ARK is buying them. Let's say I feel like Fastly could definitely go to like $120 within like the next 12 months. But I don't really have enough money to purchase 100 shares of Fastly because if I want to purchase 100 shares of Fastly, and gain exposure to 100 shares, well, it's gonna cost me a whopping $8,600. I check my pockets and I'm completely broke. I don't have $8,600, but I still want to have like 100 shares of Fastly. But at the same time, I don't wanna buy options. Options are super dangerous and I just don't like them. Get leaps. So with leaps, the best way to do things is get ones that are like 12 to 24 months out. I kind of prefer 12 months or around 16 months. So let's pick like June 17th, 2022. Keep in mind that don't pick anything that's super close to the share price. Pick something that's super in the money. So like the $50 one is pretty decent. So let's click on this. If I want to buy this call contract, it's going to cost me $4,400. And my exposure is almost the same as holding 100 shares. Now let me explain this to you. So buying 100 shares of Fastly, cost $8,600. That's pretty expensive. If I buy this leap, it's only $4,400. Here's the catch. The delta is 0 0.86, meaning if Fastly stock goes up $1, this option gains 86 bucks. It's whatever the delta times 100. Now, if you buy 100 shares of Fastly, shares, their delta is one and their data decay is zero. When Fastly stock goes up one single dollar, your shares go up $100. Because the delta is one, one times 100 is 100 bucks. That's pretty normal. But for these leaps, you're spending half the price and your exposure is like 86% of the original 100 shares. Now, the data decay is also really low, meaning that if Fastly opens up in a single day completely flat at 0%, you only lose like a dollar and 46 cents. It's 0.0146 times 100. The reason why it's negative is you're losing money if it opens completely flat. Now the rest you don't really have to know, but the implied volatility isn't really super high, so you don't have to worry about that. Leaps are generally very safe. The lower the implied volatility, the less inflated the options are, meaning that it's a good investment. If the implied volatility is over like 100 or 120%, I would not really recommend to buy it unless in very rare circumstances. The IV for this is 66%, so with each percentage of the implied volatility dropping will be roughly $22 knocked off your contract. It's really not that bad, okay? And plus, with a lot of leaps, the implied volatility usually stays around like you know, yearly, it doesn't really change much. It's a leap, okay? It doesn't really move that much. The only things that you really should be worrying about is the delta. The higher the delta, the better. Let's check out something else, like a more expensive option, like the $25 one. You can see the delta is like 0 0.97. This is really, really juicy delta. This leap option is $6,200. It's still cheaper than $8,600. So you save roughly like 2,400 bucks 
And if Fastly goes up a single dollar, 100 shares goes up 100 bucks. For this leap option, your contract goes up $97, which is around the same as 100 shares. So let me show you guys the cool thing about this. Let's say we pick this option right here. We buy two of these contracts, and we clearly see that two of these leap contracts is $8,830 which is roughly the same price as purchasing 100 shares of Fastly, which is $8,600. So it's around the same price. So if Fastly stock goes up $1, these shares will gain 100 bucks. Now, if Fastly stock goes up $1, these two leap stocks will go up roughly $160 to $170, which is like $70 more than holding 100 shares of a regular stock because you have two leap contracts. Each of their delta is 0.86, so just multiply that by two, and then times 100. So you're making like a ton of money here. You have two individuals. Individual A purchased 100 shares of the stock for around 8,600. Individual B purchased two leap options for $8,800, and the price tags for both is around the same. But when Fastly stock goes up a single dollar, the person that makes the most money is the guy holding the leaps. They make roughly $160 and $170 per dollar increase, whereas the shares only gain $100. That's the beauty of leaps. This is something you should definitely take note of. Here are the bad things about leaps. One of the biggest things about leaps that you will not get if you buy them is you lose benefits like dividends. Now, if you play a lot of shares, if you're in the market for a while, you know that you need a ton of money to even get any sort of a decent dividends. And most of the meme stocks that everyday Robinhood traders play anyway don't have any dividends. Like Tesla doesn't have any dividends. NEO doesn't have any dividends. Fastly, no dividends. So the majority of the stocks that we play on a daily basis don't have dividends anyway. And the dividends are so little to the point that the benefits of leaps will easily outweigh it. Now you would not be having any voting rights either. Voting rights don't matter with you. Unless you're like a multi-millionaire or multi-billionaire and you hold like three to 5% of Fastly stock, if you don't have enough money for that, then there's no point of like this voting thing. I get it, there's probably a couple multi-millionaires watching this video that want to own perhaps like two or 3% of Fastly, but the majority of us do not have millions and millions of dollars to become a major shareholder and get voting rights and stuff like that. So it really doesn't matter to us. And I really like this leap stuff because you could just use the same amount of money to buy 100 shares of a stock, but you get even more exposure per dollar increase and you don't even use margin. You could also do this with ETFs as well. We picked a date that's January 21st, 2022, which is 12 months away. Perfect timing. So let's pick something that's pretty decent. Let's pick this one right here. So two contracts is going to be $12,000 and $12,000 is roughly the same price as purchasing 100 shares of XLK, which will cost you $12,800. If you check out the delta, this is beautiful. 0 0.98 delta. Meaning, if the share prices go up $1, these two leaps will give you a combined amount of roughly $190. Whereas the shares will only give you 100 bucks. So you just doubled your exposure to XLK, the technology sector ETF, and you're not even using margin. You're using the power of leaps. The data decay is super low. The implied volatility is super low. These act essentially like regular shares. So this is pretty awesome. So that's the end of this video. Definitely check out leaps. If you have guys that have any questions, just direct message me on Discord or just just go on the Discord link and just DM the admins. They're super smart. You could DM the mods. They're very smart as well. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below. How do you guys feel about this Leaps video? And thanks for watching.